Uh, the topic today is transition elements, which is so called transition metals. Today we are going to talk about the physical properties and chemical properties of transition elements. All right, first the physical properties. Okay, in terms of the physical properties, all transition elements they are hard. They also have high melting point and boiling point. They can conduct electricity because of the presence of free moving electrons. And they have high density as well. Okay, next chemical properties. This is important. First, transition elements that can form color compound. Right. Example Fe2 positive. Okay, it will form green compound. Fe3 positive, brown in color. Cu2 positive, okay, copper it is blue in color. Okay, next, transition elements that have more than one oxidation state. Example, you see Fe2 positive and Fe3 positive. Okay, iron, you see they are two different oxidation state. Next, transition elements, it can be used as catalyst. Okay, ah, Popular transition elements that use as catalysts are iron, okay, inhibitor process, vanadium 5 oxide, contact process, able to produce ammonia, contact to produce sulfur acid. Okay, last but not least, okay, it forms complex ions. So these are the important properties for transition elements. Thanks.